I keep seeing videos from a certain person <laughs> and it's interesting that people are hype you know some people are hyping up Xbox this Xbox that blah 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 but if you pay attention man and look at what Microsoft is doing the Xbox Scorpio and maybe one more system after that that might be it for console gaming man they may just actually straight make it PC and that's pretty much what it is for the most part I look at what the software for the Xbox one is and it's basically just Windows but maybe it's some kind of a like how do you put it like it's an optimized version of Windows just for games and as the they probably gonna bring this to Windows 10 on PC too where you you know like how you can do on Steam and go into that that game mode where you can use the controller to navigate everything and then pick games and that's probably what they're gonna bring the PC to instead of um, having a different uh, operating system just for games it's all just gonna be Windows 10 but with like a you run stuff within a different app and then they just you know you whatever you click on something to play it or use it it just launches to a different app and you're still basically on Windows 10 like let's look at maybe how maybe the Xbox one Scorpio might be that way where you don't necessarily see the Windows desktop because it's not ideal to have it in view you know for the console because they don't have a mouse and keyboard plugged up to it so what's the point in having it so they have like this I guess like this desktop or this um, I guess this oh the thing that you see I don't know how to put it maybe just an app I don't know but that's what you see and that's what you use to navigate stuff on the Xbox One Scorpio or with maybe the regular Xbox One and you pick your games that way but the point being is Windows 10 is just gonna be on all the Microsoft products or you know services and whatnot and you just you just run apps and whatnot to, to um, do whatever it is you're trying to do on it and a lot of console gamers probably don't see it as a um, as it's a, as it being a PC but as they get more and more advanced you know these Xbox ones or whatever they're gonna call their products in the future the actual console is basically just gonna be a PC and and some people already consider it to be a PC in a sense but I don't because the GPU and the CPU aren't really separate they use one chip that has cores for you know one core the four cores for um, CPU power and then four cores for GPU power I think that's how it is unless they making changes and whatnot but it's basic and some PCs do run like that too not not saying that they don't but that's kind of generally how consoles have been they just use one chip for everything and so now you know I think that the traditional PC kind of has that stuff separate where the motherboard links a graphics card which only handles graphics and then a CPU which only handles CPU type stuff you know and I guess maybe that's more efficient to combine two of those parts together to, to accomplish whatever task is being thrown at the PC and consoles are probably going to start coming like this who knows what weird shape the new Xbox not the Scorpio because I'm pretty sure the Scorpio is probably going to continue that that look but maybe the system after it might just be a PC looking type machine it might be a straight square it's probably going to be you know small like how the uh, Xbox One S is it might be small like that but it still may have a CPU separate from a GPU so that they can I guess maximize the effectiveness or the power or whatnot but they basically merging console and PC stuff probably through the use of apps and what you're seeing what you're seeing on the screen probably will be you know an app so that it runs stuff just like it would like what you know like it would on PC it's just Windows 10 as the basis for it so effectively it's turning console gamers to PC I was rudely cut off but anyway it's turning um console gamers and the PC gamers and PC gamers into console gamers in a way just by you know manipulating the features or the the products the apps the stuff you use to navigate systems and whatnot and 
pick this, that, and the other and make it work that way and whatever peripheral you want to use. It's an interesting strategy um, to see all of this happen. Because honestly, that merger started taking place back with PS1 when you had an actual OS to navigate to or Sega Saturn with, or Sega CD, whichever one came first where you didn't just put the game in and the game popped up when you turned it on, you were actually greeted with some kind of operating system. And that operating system was that basically came from PC, the PC world. So the merge has been taking place for quite some time. But the most notable thing I can think of that did it was just PlayStation 1. So, you know, it's going that route where they're just like, you know what, we're not going to have a separate OS just for Xbox. We're going to make Windows 10 the OS that runs it all. And they're going to go from that route. And like I said, it's just merging the two worlds in, in a sense where you can probably have an Xbox One or One S Scorpio or whatever. And you can probably even do word processing on it, even though most gamers may not use it for that. But it's still effectively a PC. You can probably still write, you know, you'll probably be able to write your documents on it and do everything like that. Or just some PC features will be able to be done on the console. So that's just the way I see it going. But anyway, it's an interesting strategy. All right. Tell me what your thoughts are, man, in the comments, if you agree or disagree or if you see a different type of pattern. But anyway, subscribe, like, peace.